Module 12. Making Music And now for something completely different. The buzzer can only play one note, but if you have a speaker, you can play more and make music. To attach your speaker, you need to join pin 0 to the input on the speaker. Then join 3V to the 3V and GND to GND. This may be different depending on the speaker you are using. Make sure the clips are only connected to the pins they should be and that they are touching the metal of the pins. This is the most common problem if it doesn't work first time. Like with the images, there are already a number of tunes built in. To access these, you need to import the music library. Add the code import music like on line 2 at the top of your code. To access the built-in song, use the function called music.play. Open brackets, inside put the word music, and then the name of the music in capitals. There are a number of built-in tunes. You'll need to Google them, but here's one on line 5. Once you have put the name of the song, you just need to close the brackets. You can program a micro bit to play specific notes so you can create your own music. Here's part of a piano. All of these notes can be played by writing their name and their octave. This note is middle C. Its note name is C and its octave is 4. The lowest octave you can play is 0 and the highest is 8. So this note is C4. This note is D on the same octave as C, so the note is D4. Octaves run from C to C. This note is A. It's on the same octave as C, A4. This note is an octave lower, so it's A3. You can also represent sharps and flats. This is C sharp on octave 4, so its note is C hash 4. The sharp is the hash symbol. Flats are represented by a B, so B flat on octave 4 is B B 4. After each note, there is a colon and then the length of time you want the note to play. This is a number, e.g. 2. This depends on the music tempo. The default is approximately one tick every half a second. Here's an example. This is for note A on octave 3, lasting 4 ticks. Note the speech marks at the start and end of the notes. This is important because it's a string. You store your notes in a list. For example, here the note A, octave 3, will play for 4 ticks, then C on octave 4 for 4 ticks, then A on octave 4 for 4 ticks. These are stored in a list with the identifier notes. They will play in the order you store them. Play your stored song using the same music.player function and put the identifier in the brackets. There may be times that you don't want a note to be played and you want a pause or a rest. Use the note R for this and follow it with a colon and the number of ticks you want it to rest for. In this example, the first two notes are played. Then there is nothing played for 10 ticks before the final note is played. There are more music settings that you can look at, but this should be enough to get you making your own music, unless you are very musical, in which case look at the pitch and how to change the tempo to make more complex music.